Hi, friends. Nathan Adam here in the Department of Cinema, Television, and Emerging Media with a quick demonstration of using ChatGPT to improve your classes, your projects, your grading rubrics, etc., and all in less time than you ever could have imagined before. Let's dive in. I'm going to just go ahead and start with, for example, one of our common classes, Survey of the Music Business. Now, there's a lot of things we could ask ChatGPT, but I'm just going to feed it only the name. Can you write me a course description? for the following class. Can you write me this course description? Boom, introduction to the music industry structure and the various careers that exist within it. The course will cover topics such as history of the music industry, copyright and licensing, role of record labels, music publishing, and the concert and touring industry. The course will also examine the changing landscape of the music industry in the digital age. That's fantastic. I do like to be encouraging with it. That's fantastic. Can you write me a sample course syllabi and schedule? All right. Yeah, let's see what you can come up with, Chet GPT. Sure, here is a sample course syllabus and schedule for that class course description, etc. So it's going to go ahead and write the course description out. I think we've already got that dialed in, though, from above. So it's looking pretty good. Certainly as a starting point, we could come back and trim this down. Course goals, understand the history and structure, develop an understanding of the legal and business aspects, analyze the impact of technology. Fantastic. Course requirements, that's all looking pretty good. Okay, of course, we can modify the number of assignments, etc. Oh, good. Here's our course schedule. That's fantastic. Week one, intro, copyright and licensing, record labels, publishing. It's a nice, clean overview. It's touring, digital age, etc. Okay, so that's going to get us to a good place. Let's see what it comes up with here at the end. The students will present their final projects, etc. Okay, so that's an eight-week course. Okay, let me just tweak that a little bit. Great. Can you give me the learning outcomes for this course and make a 15-week schedule instead? Sure, here are the learning outcomes for this course. Students will be able to, nice, describe the history and structure, including the role of key players, beautiful, understand the legal and business aspects of the industry, including copyright, license, royalties, analyze the impact, including the effects of streaming services, identify and explore career opportunities, Here's a sample 15-week schedule for that course. Boom, boom, and boom. It's going to continue on writing. Just about anything you can throw at it, you're going to get a starting point for whatever it is that you're trying to write much faster than sitting down and thinking about it yourself. As terrifying as that may be, I did want you to see what this process looks like when you're punching it here into ChatGPT. So we could, of course, do it on another course as well. Or if we're just sitting here trying to build this one out, let's just go ahead and say, I like what this is doing. Cool. Let's see. How about, let's go with that. Okay. And perfect. Thanks. Yeah. It's a sample schedule. Appreciate that. Great. Can you write me a project that incorporates the first four weeks of this tool? to help students learn the content of the first four weeks of this schedule. Let's do that. All right. So if you're needing new project ideas or you're just, you've got a project maybe you've been doing for a while, but you're thinking, man, how could I tweak this project? Maybe make it even better or clarify my instructions. Just gonna see if ChatGPT gets hung up here, but I have a feeling here in just a second, it's gonna start writing and we'll be off to the races. Let's see what we get. It's really having to think about it. What were the first four weeks of this? Let's see. So intro to the music industry, copyright and licensing, record labels and music publishing. That's a pretty hard question that I've thrown at it. I don't know. We'll see if it continues, if it does it. Come on, you got this little buddy. And we're back to the races. Here's a sample project that can help students learn the content in the first four weeks of that. Project title, Tracing the Evolution of the Music Industry. Interesting. Students will use historical research to trace the evolution of the industry from its early days to the present and present their findings in an interactive timeline. Interesting. Instructions divide the class into groups, each group responsible for researching a specific time period. Oh, they can include pre-1900s, early 1900s, 50s to 60s. Interesting. Okay. Students will conduct research using a variety of sources, including books, articles, and online resources. Or... It's possible we'll have to just confirm that they're not just using chat gpt to write it all and that's looking good all right so this is this is certainly a pretty decent project the thing that i'm thinking about though as i'm looking through this evaluation very good timeline and presentation evaluated on the following criteria accuracy and completeness creativity and originality funny that's something we'll be grading on multimedia interactivity very good all right key fantastic 
All right, so let's say that we like this project as is. Of course, the obvious question to ask next is, do you have any suggestions for a grading rubric? Can, let me just go ahead. It looks like it's hung up here. That happens sometimes. Can you write me a grading rubric for this project? I'm just gonna have it stop generating. And here we go. Grading rubric for the project. Let's see how this goes. Sample grading rubric for tracing the evolution of the music industry. Criteria, excellent. Good, satisfactory, needs improvement. Nice. Oh, hey, good, it's gonna put it right into a table so I can just copy and paste it over into Excel or Google Sheets and that's looking pretty straightforward. All right, so once we go through and we've got this rubric defined, we should be ready to make our tweaks, adjust it as needed for our class and be ready to go on from there. But I just wanted y'all to have a idea of what this process looks like, the kind of output that you can get from it, the kind of output your students can get from it, and and so that we can start to incorporate those, those challenges into the way that we teach. So thanks so much. We'll see you again on campus soon.